What's going on BAM fams? You're watching Brutal Arc Mobile. I'm Asian Romeo and today we have a new dungeon to run. But before we do, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to stay up to date, you can join me on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. I also have Discord available for some live chat. And if you want to further support me, I do have a Patreon. I will put that link into the description. And one last thing, if you haven't yet guys, I've opened up a new server called the Bark Mobile Community Server. I will put the information you need to join all into the description. But without any further ado, let's just roll on in. This week's dungeon is called Putrid Alleys of Defiance. It's a medium dungeon. The stench will overtake you and the loot is tech rifle, tech generator and tech gauntlets and I see we don't have a random prize in there so that's pretty good. Got 30 minutes on the clock, let's just hop on in. The last dungeon had gauntlets but I didn't get anything good, only apprentice gauntlets and not ascendant so hoping we get a good pair of gauntlet gear this run so I'm happy that they've uh, decided to put it out twice in a row. The map's quite dark because it is a swamp dungeon guys so make sure you bring some torches if you don't have a light skin. All right let's see where we are. Uh, we've got north and east to go up and right. Don't know why I got this map on. Let's put the good one on. The better GPS system and the facility door is up north and it looks like there's an event room so our only way to go is to the right off to the east and I see a dodo off to the side there and some more dodos here this is not good I'm already having some in-game lag this is not a good sign guys what worries me is pulling out my shotgun and um, because with game sounds on it, it just messes the game up and looks like my device is just not wanting to agree today and you had to move in my way. We have one chest up here with a sketchy sketchy looking hallway. Doesn't, oh yeah I'm lagging so bad. Doesn't appear to be anything sketchy about it, just a lonesome chest with a journeyman wooden shield. Got some monkeys in the hallway too, not bad, not bad for starter teams. But definitely not working dinos. But the dodos are good guys, uh, because you can make basic kibble out of their eggs, so all, all teams will eat that. Ugh. I'm not excited for this event room with this in-game lag. Jug Artho and Arenos. Okay, cool. We're just going to use our bow. I can. I should have waited till I wasn't tripping out because I can't see. There he is. Oh, come on. How, how, how? How am I missing you? Ah, this is a bad start, guys. Come on. Oh. How am I missing you? Am I lagging that bad? Seriously? Oh, it won't even let me shoot. Oh, okay. These spiders are just too quick. They're protecting the Arthur quite good. Oh, okay. Great. Now I'm stuck. No, I can't play like this. I need to turn my game sounds off, guys. So give me one moment. It's... Come on. Sacrifice... Ugh. What's up with this device? Sacrificing top or hit. Now it should run smoother. 
Apologies for the noise. There will be none because it lags my game and my phone's just being a bit silly at the moment. Wow, okay. One hit kill on the Arthur. It shouldn't have really been that hard. But I made it a big struggle. Come on. My bow damage is 1125, I think. Oh dear. When you come into this room, guys, best to uh, run to one end and split the split the Arenos from the Arthur and then run back and kill the Arthur because if you're up close and personal like me, they're just going to keep running around each other and you won't be able to get that centipede killed. Send it flak boots. Oh dear. Not a good start. Just bear with me while I get rid of some of this weight. I think there were simple bullets. Yep, get rid of those too. Don't need anything holding me down. Now off we go. I'm just going to keep my game sounds off for the duration of the game guys because I cannot play like this with all the game lagging. So I'll put some um, music and sound effects and whatnot just to make it not so boring. I'll try to anyway. My top is rising quickly so keep an eye on that guys when you leave that room. Dodo threats. All right, I'm going to use my bow here, guys. You don't have to. Dodos are very weak. You can sword them or shotgun them. I'm just going to bow because, as you see, they do spawn quite far away and I'm too lazy to run closer. So I'll just use the bow. But don't forget to keep your eye on your top paw. Come on. Cluck, cluck, cluck. If I can get a headshot, jump. Jump shots. Nice. Yep, they're spawning so far away. If you're impatient like me, guys, use a bow. Makes you, makes you feel better that you can shoot them from long range and then drop them. And also it uh, polishes your comp bow skills. Because comp bow by far, I reckon, is the best um, tool to use in the dungeon because you can recover your ammo. And it's quick draw too, so. Last one. Nice. Just going to see if it, this one's got an implant actually. Come on. Nah, no implant. Alright. Centered Megatheriums. Saddle, I mean. <laughs> Didn't finish off my sentence there, but anyways. We're heading down south here. Looks like there's not much down here, so we'll go down this way. And make sure you bring a couple of canteens, guys, because I'm already out of my first uh, first drink. And of course, there is a lava jump. It's not a swamp dungeon if there's no lava jumps. Floating floor jumps. Only two chests here. Not holding my breath for anything good. Send it right leggings. And a statue. Cool, so there's one premium there. We'll mark that down on our map. And we'll just head back past the dodo room and go straight up north. Oh, what's, what's with this PT getting in the way? Jump. Ah. I was hoping to do one full jump and clear this whole spider run. Axe run. So I see an immediate chest straight up north, so we'll go ahead and go for that one. Watch out for war trap guys, uh, especially ones around corners. We have another axe trap.
And we got the facility key. That was that was insanely quick. Just up there. Furthest northeast room, guys. Mm-hmm. So guys, if you haven't joined my new game server for Ark yet, please do. Um, I will have the information you need to find the game server in the description because it is open to the public and I implore you guys please do join and play it is a brutal server and it's um, set the casual so you won't lose any of your stuff there's already quite a few number of players on there but um, if you're still wanting to join this server guys go ahead and join because you never know why you might be featured in one of my videos because I am running around doing a fresh start video, so you just might be caught on there. No, we've already been there. That's the facility key. Up here. I talk too much, so I miss my turn. Still no wall traps yet. Ah, yes, and we have our first water room. You tend to use up a lot more water when you're in a fight, guys. And there's a wall trap right there. You, yeah, you tend to use a lot more water and food once you're in a fight. So when you're running the hallways alone, you won't lose too much of those consumables. And one dodo rug. So that's our second premium count. So far, so good. Bounce. I don't even avoid these poison vents anymore. I just bolt on through it. I think that's it for this area. We're going to head back. Yes, it is too. We're just going to head back all the way to the start and go for the facility door now. That was a very, very quick run. Half a run. So to recap, there's only two premiums and the key on this side. You don't really need to go for anything else, guys. And I do see that we did miss one little section, so we're just going to go finish that off, see what it is. It's definitely an event room there. Have one loot that we didn't get here on the right. Ah, oh, <laughs> I should have checked this first. There's a water room right there, so that's two water rooms so far. Heading to the totally optional room now, guys. Unless the tech structure and tech loot is here, you don't really need to do this room. Argy and flying ant room. So I'm pretty sure if I can remember, you either, you can have a random combination of uh, Argentavises and Titan drones. Titan soldiers. I don't know how to say that name. Titanomama. <laughs> Um, oh, that one's got more HP. Uh, what I would be doing, guys, is just use your sword. Get into a corner and use your sword. I don't think they're going to get stuck there too, so. Oh, yeah, he's still got it's a decent HP bird, but they're very slow. Sorry, PT, you got in my way. Argies are getting a bit... Oh, maybe I should get that implant. 6k Argy. Sword's annoying, because look at it. They're just flying around. Come here. So get into the corner if you're going to use the sword, guys. Ugh. Always happens to open the bag when I run past the team. Definitely shotgun is quite annoying. Easy. Easy optional room. Which means these loots probably won't be any good.
Right, boots. I'm still sort of lagging with this, with my game sounds off. It's really bad. So many dodos everywhere. Tech structure right there. So, if you need your structures, it is in this optional room. And 10 black pearls. That two chests are the good chests, whether or not you need structures anymore. But uh, the black pearls, definitely go for that if you're on uh, an official server. And that seems to be it, so we'll just head back now to the spawn. And we got here a lot faster than I thought. All right. Let's just roll on in and see what we got. Mega theorems. Oh, no. Oh, no. There's four of them. Oh, no. And the HP is insane. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay, I was not ready for this. Sword ain't going to do anything. Oh, look at my health. Oh, gosh. Um, okay. Thinking, think Romeo, what to do. Can you just get stuck on here? Nope. Okay. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> okay, so. I was not ready for this room because it is a medium dungeon, but with mega theoriums that totally shred you. And there's four of them. You can manage to get a couple of shots off uh, before you do have to run. They're really hitting my health so bad. I don't think we can do anything else, guys. There's nothing you can do besides run and shoot. It's a good thing I have four armor sets all the time because rooms like this will catch you off. Ah. All right, make sure, guys, before you come into this room, Check that you have fresh armor going in because once the armor breaks in there uh, and you've got to switch out during the battle, it's quite risky to die. So, oh gosh, shotguns loading so slow. The way I see it, this room's going to take long regardless. Hopefully, this is the only wave. Oh, I'm hoping this is the only wave. If there's four waves of this, I, I am going to chuck a spit. 17. This bow. Oh, gosh. It's only doing 1k hits. Not good. We're just going to have to go in, in it, guys. One down. That's two down so far. Last one. Here we go. Bow seems to be working a lot better for this room. Saves you from reloading and then running around. 5k to go. I'm just a little worried about my armor at the moment. Please be... Like, yes! Okay, here's the last dude. Oh my gosh. My Buddha, that was intense. Um, Let's check the armor out here. Yeah. Shredded so bad, and I'm I'm on brutal guys. So that was uh, it was quite intense because I didn't think it's going to be Meg Room, Megatherium Room. But we're good, we're safe, we passed, we didn't crash. If I had my game sounds on while doing that room, I guarantee would have crashed and died. Got one loot here. I'm sweating from that room. <laughs> Ascendant wooden shield, no go. And I'm thirsty. No, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Intense. All right. Toxicant arrows. So that room is a bust. And as you see, guys, I jumped for this uh, 
sticky axe swing because I like to uh, not run the whole length and hopefully I, when I jump I miss the first two axes and it's quicker it's just quicker if you jump it you get hit you get hit send it slingshot <clears throat> and a long long hallway and a water room god bless Got another event room here. Oh bugger, Turbo Rexes. Two rooms catching me off guard. They're gonna be, they're gonna be fast, aren't they? Really fast. Their HP is insane. Oh, ouch. Why arc? Uh oh, too close. 20k Rex. Why is it so intense all of a sudden? Run, please. We're going to be safe. Oh, they're right behind me. <laughs> that was scary. Yeah, uh, you're not going to be able to run the whole length with them uh, without them trailing two steps behind. They are taking chunks from me. Rex will also rip your armor, guys, so just be a little bit careful. Make sure you come in with high durability armor. It's going to be slow going, but we'll get there. Oh, PT, get out of me way. Run, Romeo. It's nearly dead. Oh, okay, there's going to be four waves of this. How much do you cost? 24 amber. Hmm. Yee. Jump. Come on. Turn around. Yeah, they're fast. But look, so far it's nothing to worry about. I was just stressing. But it was also a good thing to bring in a full fresh armor. Otherwise, I would be sweating like no tomorrow. So I'm not really worried now that they're turbo and I see what they're capable of. But... Still doesn't help them taking chunks out of my HP. If you guys happen to be struggling in this room um, because of your speed by chance, you can use Focal Chili because it will increase your movement speed and give you extra stamina as well. So you can potentially outrun these Rexes. But keep in mind, drinking any stew will prevent you from healing. So if you have any blood packs, use that because um, it will heal you over time. But it's just the, uh, the med brews won't be effective for a little while, that's all. But the healing over time still does work. And it's probably worth too, if you're getting big chunks taken out of you because of the damage, use enduro stew because that will give you some reduced um, damage resistance as well and it also will heal you for a little bit over time but it's very slow and minute yeah they, they turn around quite fast I was here I'm thinking oh maybe there's a strategy where you can um, run and make them run into the walls because it could slow them down but no, nah, circling them doesn't do anything, guys. So just keep running the room. Do what works for you. For me, I'll stick with a shotgun on this one because it will do a lot more damage. Come on, Rex. Run into the wall. Stop yourselves. No, nah, not working. Trying to get them, get them trapped in, in the wall. Sword's pretty quick as well. Check that out. Nice. Alright. Done, guys. Done. My recommendation for that room is have a lot of speed. Use Focal Chili if you need that extra movement speed as well. and um, Keep your distance as much as you can. The room will take a while, but... You don't want to die. You know, 
The clock says 52 minutes, which is more than enough um, to beat this room, guys. So take your time, don't rush it. We've got all these loots in here. We're going to go to the very bottom and then work our way back up and grab them along the way. And there's a wall trap right here with the most smallest gap to get through. Oh, very sketchy. And that's premium number three. Oh, oh my god, I almost ran then. Oh, sketchy, so sketchy. Woo. Make sure you run on the bounce, guys, and it looks like you might have to run into the wall a little bit there and wait for it to bounce back so you can make your escape, but bits bit a bit tight fit for my liking. Focal chili. How about that? Um, what's here? Nothing. That's... Okay, we've got everything. Alright, moving up north now. There's still another loot in this room. So we'll go for that first, actually, before we exit. And there's a nice water room. And it looks like this room splits off into two. One of these will be the boss pathway. We'll just go back here because it's closest. Oh, and we have a hidden wall trap. That's why I hate wall corners, guys. They just, yeah, you can't see it. What? I thought there was loot here. Ah. We're in a wasted room it's up here over here there it is <laughs> oh gosh all right so that wall trap we're just gonna keep in mind for the way back so we'll go up here and get these two loots oh, and there's another wall trap I've got to slow myself down on these wall traps because I go to run, but it's not the right time. Oh, and they're, no, they're not loots. That is the boss teleport, guys. So we don't want this direction, which means this one here is... Come on. Gauntlets. Ascendant fur chest piece. Okay, so that's not the feature loot. I thought that was featured. <laughs> Bugger. Okay, so... Now we confirm that's the boss teleport. One room to go and definitely, oh, freaked myself out. Forgot about that wall trap when I said I'll keep an, keep an eye on it. So our featured loot better be in this room where we're going now off to the east. Oh dear. A um, bit weird. Oh, it looks like there's a an, another event when we have to beat first. Moza platform. Iguanodon room, half armor. Easy room. Go use your bow, headshots, or just sword them, guys. Half armor or not, your durability is... Uh, by now, you, you should have really good durability. At least 16, 1700, you know, on your count. Which is more than enough to get in there and sword them, guys. Otherwise, if you're new, do hang back. Because guaranteed your armor will not be as good as... Well, as good as my one, which is um, between 1900 and 2k, so... But yes, you can bow, sword, don't shotgun because you're just going to waste your bullets, guys. Where are you? Get them headshots on. Not the neck shots, headshots. Ah. Thought you were going to run off in that direction. But instead you psyched me and ran back in a bird line. How did I miss you? That should have been a headshot. Come here then. They die so fast with the sword, guys. Just like that. All right. Ooh, red one. 
Eh. Not the featured. And another war trap. We only have three more chests to go. Bugger the bounce, we're going. There's a lot of water rooms, which is good. I have total two canteens. I don't think you'll need much more than that. And another axe. We're getting so close now to our featured. Oh! Nearly died. Send an Argy. So back there. Ouch! Back there will be our featured, and it better be our featured. Because we've narrowed down every single loot besides that one. If you got 193 speed or 180 speed, you don't have to wait for the bounce on that, guys. You can clearly make it anytime. Journeyman Compo. What? Did I already get the featured? Did I? Am I missing something? I don't know. I'll look back to see which chest was the, was the featured, but anyways. Let's continue on. I will list the featured on my map, so don't have to worry about that, guys. Never fear. Got a nice war trap here. We're so close to the end. Go. Not even waiting for the bounce now. We don't even care. All right, I am going to quickly re-log, guys, and I'll set up, and I'll be back. Wait a minute. Yeah. Actually, while I'm here, let's, I'm going to quick, quickly check. I did get the featured. Hmm. Crossbow sucks. Argy saddle, not bad. I did get the featured. But where? I totally forgot. I am sorry, guys. I... Talk too much and forgot where that chest was. Um, I hope you guys caught it. Eh, not good loot. All right, we are back. We've optimized our phone. We've turned our game sound on just for the boss fight. Um, so we'll see how we go. We're not lagging at the moment. Actually, what's our armor? Totally forgot to check our armor. Eh, we'll be alright. Let's roll on in, guys. Ugh. And I thought we were going to get a run with no crash. But luckily, it's just a Dodic and he didn't come after us. Otherwise, we would have been dead on the boss teleport if any others. Yeah, that... <laughs> oh, uh, you test my patience sometimes. Oh, you joking? I, I I should swear, shouldn't I, guys? I really, I feel like I should. Oh, fudge. All right, as long as I don't crash yet again. Knock on wood, knock, knock. Stay behind the dodic, guys. It's be in first person view because third person will get you a little confused because it is hard to control going in circles around the dodic. So first person view shoot away and stay up behind his tail that's all you need to do he is easy and simple guys run run up past you cut him off just like that run right past him and when he swings he'll miss what the ha did he just teleport he just teleported. <laughs> what is going on? Oh. This game is... I don't know. I, I, I think I'm lagging. It's the, I don't know why the game sounds lagged the game. Guys, get, did he teleport again? Oh. I've, um, yeah, I'm lost for words, guys. <laughs> I'm laughing it off because if I don't, I'm going to swear. But just like that, done. Woohoo! 
There you go, guys. Never a dull moment when you're running with me. Always something interesting happens. But anyway, guys, if you like this video, again, please don't forget to subscribe. I know you guys are out there. All you need to do is hit that button, hit that like. This is this week's dungeon done and complete, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.